Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark Yoon and today I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. And what I got for you today is a continuation of where we left off last week when we were talking about Cassandra's lore in the game, specifically when she met herself from Soul Calibur 4 and she battled her and she was warned of things to come. So I was talking about how I think this would change and affect the series going forward, mainly to not so quite erase Soul Calibur V, but to kind of complete it in a way where it actually makes sense and um, it is for the better, because obviously everyone knows what happened with Soul Calibur V. And these are the implications that I think are going to come from that. This is just my guesses, it's my hypotheses. Um, this could be different for everybody, so I don't want you guys to think this is what I definitively is, is, think is going to happen. I just think this is what could possibly happen. Um, do I think it's probable? I'm not sure because I'm not a writer on Project Soul. But I can say that this would be probably my ideal outcome for what hopefully happens and what comes to fruition. But without further ado, let's just get into it so I don't waste any more time. Okay, so Cassandra from Soul Calibur 4 went back in time, obviously, through that portal, and she met herself, or not even back in time, she crossed dimensions, so she crossed over into the current Lore's timeline, and she met herself, and she warned her of things to come. I think that, A, this is going to probably push Cassandra to the point in the next iteration where she definitely wants um Sophitia to stay at home I don't think she is going to allow her to um venture out on her own to defeat the evil sword at this point unless it becomes like undeniably so where she becomes uh, controlled by the shard that's close to her heart um with that being the case too I think there would also be an issue where she would probably lock her up similarly to how Hilda had her father locked up I don't think that she's actually still going to let her just roam around free. But with that being said, I think that Cassandra's going to go out and she's going to prevent, to try and prevent her sister's death, obviously, in this timeline. And she's going to try to find a way to get the evil shard out of her, of her sister. Now, this is going to be in complete tandem with what happens with Algol coming back and being resurrected. Uh, I believe that the conduit or us in the game specifically in Libra of Souls is going to fulfill what Aswell set out to do and probably going to be play some party to resurrection of Algol with him coming into the scene I believe that Cassandra is going to try and go after him because maybe she can feel that she can use the ultimate seed or the fake swords to try and remove the shard from her sister. But this is going to bring a whole host of problems. Um, I do not think that Sophitia is going to give birth to Pyrrha and Pariah anymore. I don't think that's going to happen. I think a lot of people blame the uh, backlash from Soul Calibur V on both of those siblings and uh, the replacement characters as well. Even though a lot of people liked um, the play style of the characters with the sword and shield, I don't think they're going to come back. In all honesty, I think that Sophie is actually going to be prevented from giving birth. I think Cassandra's going to step in and she's going to um, try and not talk to her sister, but inadvertently like set her on a course of action that prevents the birth of her children. Maybe she has to go out. Um, and do like a pseudo adventure where Cassandra like gives her a false claim about like the sword being spotted or the Azure Knight and Safiti will in turn go out according to that information and try to seek it out. Hey, what's up guys? Have you always wanted some sweet Mark Yoon merch? Maybe a thick you shirt, maybe a shirt from Squirt, maybe my pretty face with my logo all over your body or a throw pillow or blanket or anything. Well, you're in luck because I just launched my merch store and it is going to be available on Redbubble and you will find a link to it in my description box down below. It's got a lot of quality content and a lot of good stuff for you to pick up so you can show your support for the channel and just rep Mark Yoon. Alright guys, as always, thick you. Um, preventing her time at home with her husband, obviously, and which in course is going to prevent her from having kids. 
I think Cassandra is going to try and solve this on her own. Obviously, she's probably going to team up with the other heroes in the series, but I don't think that she's going to let Sofitia play any part in that. Um, Sofitia may actually come back to being set on the right course, but I think it might actually turn out to be a case where she is ends up being controlled by the evil shard and is used for some purposes, whether it be from Aswell or whether it be from Algol himself. Maybe the birth of the ultimate seed actually kicks the old swords into plan and they actually start to control all the people that are under their influence in the first place. We do see that she is under the control of Soul Calibur in um, Soul Calibur 5 where she is Elysium as opposed to uh, herself. So maybe the way to get the evil sword out of her is to have her controlled by Soul Calibur instead of uh, Soul Edge. I can see that playing a part and coming back into play, but I don't know how becoming Elysium will actually play out because she will then lose all sense of herself and essentially become a different character. But I also have different plans for what I think will happen to um, Grow and all those because Grow apparently has been there in the interim in this timeline at least all the time but they were just like kind of working under the radar so where our regular heroes didn't see. I think it's going to play a part where um, Grow maybe teaches her, uh, her being Sophitia, how to control the, the powers that she gains from the, um, the evil sword without being completely controlled because Grow actually learned how to do it himself so maybe he'll take on a mentorship role um, for that. With anything, it seems like either way that Sovietia is going to be kind of out of play for the next game. Um, I'm not saying that she's not going to be playable. I'm just saying like in the main story, I don't think she's going to be able to have the free time she needs to kind of create Pyra and Pyra. But that being said, um, the also, I don't know how exactly she's going to get this sword out. Like, those are all just approximations. I think maybe she could possibly become Elysium. I think she also could be locked up. There's a ton of different ways that that can play out. Especially now that Cassandra is kind of assuming her role on her journey uh, for the sake of her sister. But I also think that Cassandra being the one that's taking on her journey, or her pledge rather, is probably not going to be looking out for everything that's going on like her sister was instead of just like focusing on her sister specifically how that plays a role i'm not too sure because sofitia was like focused on kind of playing the heroist role by um defeating the evil sword but cassandra seems to just want to like abate her sister's fate so I'm not sure exactly how much, much of this is going to play out. That's just like approximation of what I think could possibly happen. I'm just flying off the cuff here creating this as I go. But there are other possibilities that can obviously happen. But what's more important is I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Let me know like how you think Cassandra meeting herself is going to change. How do you think it's going to replace the storyline of Soul Calibur V? Um, how any of that stuff can go down. I know a lot of you guys have really good... Uh, theories on that so I want to hear them and let's start a conversation down below and as always guys thank you and thank you Boy.